and we are live. Ooh, the comic gamer gals. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Will she bring him back alive again? Because she was pretty much devastated when he passed away. I mean, I was getting ready to mention that actually. So in this episode, we basically see a recap and we get to see what we already knew, of course, if you've seen the movies, that Wanda is tremendously traumatized with everything that she's been through. Um, I guess we already talked about it on the first few episodes, you know, that her going back in time with those sitcoms is like how we see how life is supposed to be. Now we see that she's a big sitcom fan. Uh and Wanda, uh, Agatha takes her through all these episodes and stages in her life to figure out how Wanda created all of this because at the end, Agatha basically reveals that Wanda's magical power is very, very dangerous and that she is the Scarlet Witch. <laughs> <laughs> Finally said it. <laughs> <laughs> Magical Disney, you ruined that for me. <laughs> she came up with it, not me. <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I would give it like a eight point five. So it was. Whoa. Like Okay. <laughs> Wait. Okay, I, I don't mean to be rude, but I can't remember. Who the fuck is Dark Shadow again? <laughs> <laughs> um <laughs> Brad. Oh <laughs> I really don't know where it came from. Someone on Twitch started calling From me. Twitch! <laughs> it's when your daughter becomes second a bunch of times in a row. <laughs> <laughs> the anger comes out. Her Aries comes out. <laughs> <laughs> or when you when she's at a very difficult level and then you give her Twitch points to take off her glasses because you know she will have a hard time and then suddenly she dies near the end. <laughs> <laughs> Are you happy now? <laughs> oh my goodness. That's Gabby Gabby. Gabby, what was the first game you got? Okay. Um, so I might as well just show part of this, but Mario 64 was one of the first games I got for the N64 and also Mario Kart 64 too, because those two were like the start of my gaming ob obsession. Comics. <laughs> How long have you been collecting comics? Um, I can't honestly. I can't really remember exactly when I started collecting, but I know that I've been into like Marvel and everything since I was like seven, eight years old. Because that's when I first watched the uh, first Spider-Man movie with Tobey Maguire. So ever since then, I have been just all out collecting comics and just loving reading them and collecting them. So, so Spider-Man, I'm guessing, is one of your favorites? Oh, yeah. It's like, I wish this was the real deal, but I'm talking about and, like, be uh, geeking out about it. So, and yes, sir. <laughs> Definitely. Um, and you, you really do a, a great job of organizing everything. Um, see, I, I have trouble keeping all of it straight in my head. I have to go. I usually, um, I, I have a cheat sheet mostly. Where it goes, I, I just love like any kind of concept art or whatever, or fan art that I can do to express love for my favorite characters. It's pretty much as simple as that. <laughs> Absolutely. It really, it, it really is. I mean, you can see the connection and folks if you do visit the website uh, please do visit and just check out all of the really cool artwork that that cosplay girl has created on her site uh, tonight's really cool. uh <laughs> the assignment was to pick out some of your badass female comic book characters 
So, Gabby, you look enthused. Let's <laughs> let's jump right to Gabby. <laughs> what um, have you got for us, dear? Well, uh, I have two actually. So, um, one of the first female comic characters that I encountered was um, this right here. Uh, yeah, I love it. Um, what is she? I think it's. Oh, it's the 60 year anniversary. 60 year anniversary. Okay. Mm -hmm. Sweet. I like the cover. Love oh, yeah. the cover. So cool. See, without the Fantastic Four, sorry to say this, but I got to. Without the Fantastic Four, we wouldn't have Silver Surfer neither. Just saying. Mm -hmm. My hero. Or Doctor Doom. Yeah, or Doctor Doom or any of those other ones. Yep. I know. <laughs> That's you what know, I am always... are you looking forward to seeing if they bring out a Doctor Doom? It would be awesome for them to bring one out. A oh, decent yeah. one. That would he, be he's awesome. like he's like my favorite villain, so he's they I just hope they get him right. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty boy that thinks uh, a scar on his face makes him look uh, horrible. So, yeah. <laughs> oh, look at this. Sandy saying, a Galactus baby. <laughs> oh, so only Sandy. I love it. Hello, hello, everybody. Oh, my gosh. I'm so excited for this. So welcome to the first episode of the a series that I've been wanting to do for quite a while, actually. Um, it's all about cosplay. So I decided to call it Fantastically Geeky Cosplay. <laughs> I was just yeah, I'm like, that's so cute. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, girl? <laughs> what is up? How how you doing? I'm doing great. So I guess first things first, what got you into cosplay? Um from what I remember, it was like six or seven years ago, a friend of mine wanted to go to a convention to meet and actor i think it was i don't remember who it was it was someone i didn't know i think it was someone from this like anime she watches or something and she didn't want to go alone and i was like i'll go with you you know i don't know what this is but i'll go with you and i saw all these people in costume and i'm like is this what people do here like what is this <laughs> I was like, so <laughs> and i felt so out of place because we were literally one of the only people there that were not dressed up Mm -hmm. and I was like, I want to try this. This looks fun. Like, <laughs> I want to do this. <laughs> so, my first technically cosplay was like Wednesday Adam. Oh, my gosh. That was so nice. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Hello. How are you? Good. How are you? Are you surviving this sweltering heat? Well, number one, the community I found with you guys has been like truly actually magical for me and a really beautiful thing, especially in quarantine. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. And I am so grateful for that because I'd never had that before. I never had like a group of friends that like all the same stuff I like. So that I same. love. Yeah. Yeah. It is like such a magical thing. I love that. And I love, um, just like with acting, I love that when I do pick a character to cosplay, uh, because I don't know if it's because I'm an actor or because I am just a nerd, I don't know. But like, I like to know them and sometimes you can learn things. It's like, it's like almost like playing a character. And mm -hmm. when I play characters, there's something to learn a lot of the time, yeah. you know, it's a different person and stepping into somebody else's shoes. And I think that's really cool. I just think it's fun and interesting and creates many interesting like, opportunities to learn something, you know? <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> I'm so excited. <laughs> How are you, girl? I'm good. I'm good. 
what would be your advice to any new cosplayers? So my number one thing would be, if you are thinking about it, be passionate about who you're ready to cosplay. Definitely, definitely passion is important. Um, because yeah. then you just don't want to do it. You know what I mean? And you'll put more into yeah. it if you really care. Um, mm -hmm. Second of all, try to use it for good because you get so much more out of it if, if you do it for like a cause or just to spread happiness or whatever it's so much more rewarding than to do it for clout um mm -hmm. and just don't get mixed up in the wrong crowd like do it for the right reason like you know numbers are just numbers on instagram and tiktok and all of that like that doesn't define you as a person and, and a lot of people get yeah. lost in that and my whole thing is to know who you are and go in with good intentions but always stay true to your good intentions because it's very easy to just become one of the you know people that it goes to their head and they they're clout chasers and you don't want to do that you don't want to be with those people yeah. do it for good have fun mm -hmm. you know relax and enjoy it and don't and you don't have to take it so seriously like it's this is doesn't need to be like an olympic sport like you could just have fun hi uh <laughs> <laughs> people that you know are in the same wavelength as you are not going to judge you and stuff so yeah yeah so i feel like a lot of people like judge others based on what like whether it's how they look or how their cosplay looks yeah but, unfortunately but but i know not everyone is like that so yeah it, it, that is good to know so find those people and keep those people <laughs> exactly but yeah yeah Hello! It is so great to be here with you. Thank you so much for having me on your show. Yeah. So uh, how do you like being part of the New York Avengers? I love being the New York Avengers. Not only are they my friends, you know, we're like a little cosplay family. We just did a panel at New York Comic Con all together, mm -hmm. so that was really fun. Um, but I feel like something that's just so wonderful is that you really get to see the joy and you see when you give back you can literally see it with your own eyes just how happy and meaningful um the experience is for people and sometimes it's not because we help um you know or we we go and up to the hospitals and places um in our local community and we volunteer with um sick children or with um children that might not have the same access to things as other children do um you know, maybe they're a little bit more poor or they don't have, um, like I said, they just don't have the same access to things as other children do. So when you are their hero, you know, when you're dressed as, um, I've done Squirrel Girl with the Avengers, for example, when you're dressed as Squirrel Girl and you get to high five them or give them a smile or give them a hug if they, you know, if that's okay with them, the joy in their face just warms my heart. Um, and it really, it just means so much to be able to give in a way um, that's not always monetary. You know, I think I, while I agree, I 100% think that monetary donations are important and so many of the things we can, we do are, wouldn't be possible without that. I think that giving in your time and with your presence uh, and your, and your smiles and your friendship and your warmth, that um, gives a different kind of uh, joy and meaning and it's um it's very special so definitely one of my favorite parts of the con was getting to meet some of my friends from instagram oh my so gosh cool. girl you're so fancy that was so cool <laughs> so cool <laughs> you know what me and daisy try to be pro streamers and gabby is just like <laughs> going us up <laughs> above and beyond <laughs> like, above and beyond God. But I love this. Like, I love, okay. Can I, can I first just say the fact that we were all talking in real time is making me so happy. Like I'm not, I'm not looking at my phone, like waiting for the delayed response. Like I can just like talk over you guys now. It's going to be great. <laughs> <laughs> it's one of the best X-Men movies out there. That's just me.
Yeah, I actually liked the newer ones that they made too. I thought they were they were pretty good. I did mm. to an extent, and then they ruined my favorite story arc of all time, and now I'm against them again. Oh, Dark about Phoenix. That? Yeah. Yeah, I didn't see that one. I heard that one was terrible. I it, didn't it, so. watch it. I couldn't do it. Yeah, it's... Yeah. Just don't. <laughs> like, don't waste we, your time on it. <laughs> can we just have the 90s cartoon and just copy everything the 90s cartoon did for the Dark Phoenix saga? And then it'll be fine, because they did a great job, and it's why I like comics and superheroes growing up. Oh, that's yep. cool. Yes, yeah, literally, because yeah. I would watch it before school in the mornings, and I got oh. sucked into it. <laughs> So cool. <laughs> that and Spider Man. Not only did we get to sing together, we did a little gift exchange too. Good group of uh, people here for sure. I guess I'll start taking this for Hulk Smasher was 2017. <laughs> Actually, I did bring a weapon. I'll show that later. Okay. So, um, okay. Nice. okay, if there's one thing I love more than comics, it's cats. So, I thought I'd open up with this. Oh, nice. oh that's wow. so cool. That is cool. In the yeah. Holland suit, yes. too. Yeah. Very my cool. best friend got this for me for a Christmas present, so Ooh. that's really it reminds neat. me of my own cat. So I'm like, I love it. <laughs> that's really awesome. That's, that's not, is that supposed to be the? Because you know, in the Miles Morales game, he's got a cat. Mm -hmm. well, does Miles just have a cat? Uh, I, I'm yeah. Really uh, well, he like kind of adopts a cat and, and calls it Spider Man. <laughs> 